before the new content begins, I want to update you guys on the situation I presented from my last video. The situation about the emblem farmer who created hundreds of accounts to bot emblem farming and claimed he was making 500 mil a day. It was posted on Reddit and Mod Acorn actually commented. Mod Acorn basically said that most of the accounts were already banned and the mod that usually bans the accounts was out for Easter holiday. So the rest of them were banned the day after the video came out. As for the claim of 500 mil a day, maybe it is bragging, but from what I've seen, it's it's completely reasonable. Mod Acorn may be right that there's no evidence of it, but there could be a mule account with all the money on it, or dozens of mule accounts. But we might as well go check the location and make sure that all the accounts are banned. Okay, the bot farm is still here. I don't know what he did. Maybe these are new accounts actually, which would be pretty troubling because Mod Acorn said the accounts were banned yesterday. They still teleport, right? No. <laughs> I found the key to killing the bots. Just kick them to death. Is this a joke? Wait, is this a joke? No, I don't have an emblem in my inventory. I could have probably gotten like a tier nine. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven accounts on that square alone. So hopefully a mod sees this. By far the most bots are on free to play worlds because the cost of making an account is literally zero. Yeah, most of these aren't bots you're seeing right now. I just wanted some cinematic quality to the video. Okay, 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 no, but anyway, there are so many bots in free to play you're about to see. What's different about this botting location? You can make a lot of money from it. So here's the altar in deep, deep wilderness. There are wines of Zamorak right there that bots telegrab in literally every single world. If you've seen any other big bot farms, make sure to leave it in the comments or DM me on Twitter. So every single free to play world has at least one bot telegrabbing these wines of Zamorak. You log in, you kill them, you know, they try to run south, but basically it's pretty easy to out DPS them with 70 range. To make more than like 200K an hour from this, I would suggest being a member, grab a looting bag and some teleports and hop between members worlds after you get a kill put the wines of Zamorak in your looting bag, refill your entire inventory, you get the idea. And that exact fact that it's such a long way from a bank without teleports to the altar means that these bots are actually split up into two parts. You have the bots that are actually telegrabbing the wines, but then you also have this bot that's not wearing any gear. And I think it's just basically running law runes to the bots doing the telegrabbing. So I'm guessing the plain bots probably trade the bots that are doing the telegrabbing and exchange their law runes for the bots wines of Zamorak. In this clip, as you can see, I was targeting the mule bot. And as I suspected, uh, they had some runes. There are dozens of free to play worlds and every single one has one of these accounts. I can't stress that enough. I don't need to look for these guys. They're in every single world. It got to the point where I was kind of like playing with them. You know, I'd hit them once and then close the door and then KO them. I was curious to see how much money I could make per hour doing this, obviously using member worlds to hop back and forth with the looting bag. I figured it would probably be really profitable. Here's an example full inventory. 50K in the looting bag, another 35K in the inventory. So we're making 85K trips. It literally takes less than five minutes. One hour later and we've killed 28 bots. But the loot is almost exactly 600K. I wanted to see what happened when I killed the bot. You know, maybe there was some process I could exploit. So I predicted that the bots would teleport to Falador after they re-geared, if that was in their script because Falador is by far the closest free-to-play teleport to the altar. So I was right, I found the bot in Falador. It feels kind of sneaky, like tracking a bot's path as the botter is like away from their computer. It's kind of spooky. If you guys are wondering, these are the stats of most of these accounts. 41 magic and 12 hit points, usually like 11 or 12 HP. So you can make a level 30-ish free-to-play major and just sit in like five or six wilderness, killing these guys running back and forth, killing the mules, bringing them runes, or bringing back wines with Zamorak. I'm guessing it's one of the best free-to-play money makers there are. Okay, we're transitioning. 
Huge shout out to USA in bloat. He has discovered another way to lure the emblem farming bots. The bots will always be programmed to pick up emblems. They're 170k each, but what about unstrung emblems? They're only 200 GP each, so they would make for the perfect bait. The bots are probably programmed to pick everything with emblem in its name up. Here we go, part two. <laughs> Yup, it works. So I started to lure the bots all over again. The only problem is the guy who made this bot farm logs in all the time, like three times an hour at least. He talks to me almost every time I come and check on the farm. So if he finds out about the unstrung emblems, he's gonna fix them and I can't kill his bot farm. First kill of the day, it took a few unstrung emblems, but give me your mysterious emblem. Oh, I got two of them, nice. Oh, and he had picked up all the unstrung emblems. Because the bots recognize the unstrung emblems as regular emblems and not like mithril scimitars, they all run to the unstrung emblem and they don't log out until they've gotten it because it has some sort of priority. So you could literally lure 40 bots at a time doing this. And I picked up another kill pretty quickly here and then we ran into some problems. Here's what I'm gonna do. On this account, I'm just gonna run continuously into multi dropping unstrung emblems. Uh, and my other account will be sitting in multi and as soon as I've gotten all the emblem farmers there, I'll just start attacking them like crazy. But when I got back to the bot farm, there were absolutely no bots there. So I waited a couple hours and logged back in. Thanks for the bug testing pug. No! The unstrung emblems don't work anymore. The owner of the bot farm had seen me doing this and fixed the unstrung emblems. He also fixed the trick where you just note a mysterious emblem and drop it. So I have no more ideas on how to lure these bots. And honestly, it's up to Jagex to just continually ban them now. But since the bot farm had been banned and they were all fresh level 22s, I could still pick up a few kills. No, hit, one more, come on, he has a tier eight, big hit. Got him! Thank you for the tier eight. Tier seven, <laughs> that is a mill. Literally a mill if you use a CC that sells tier sevens because they're rune pouches. This is still super profitable, clearly. Guys, the wilderness is a big place. There are so many areas, like especially right here, around the lava mazes, even in the upstairs of some castles or fortresses. There are so many places for emblem farmers to hide. So I suggest running around in the wilderness looking for these guys because they are literally everywhere and they move around constantly. So if you don't find one in a location I've seen, that's probably just because the bot farm has moved. Here are some locations of emblem farms I've found in the wilderness. It took me less than 20 minutes to find both of these locations and farms. These, however, are not bots and they have PKers to protect them. Holy shit. There's no way they're monitoring all of these at once. Right? There's one down. Holy shit. There's a ranger that just logged in. Let's get out of here. I didn't leave too much on the ground, but I was in and out. Oh my God, that was a huge farm. I got some reinforcements. Well, not really because this account is also me. And uh, this account is gonna kill the protector. Hopefully, it's hard to play on two accounts at once, I'm not gonna lie. Big hit. Oh, I killed him! I actually got him! Oh, he really did not have much. I'm gonna protect this account with my other account. Here he comes. Debo, big hit. <laughs> okay, it's a little crazy that this bot farm was banned and then the next day all of a sudden there are 30 plus accounts doing it again. Not to mention the owner of the bot farm said he had a whole new group of bots 
ready to deploy as soon as those were banned. So since I can't really lure them anymore, the only thing to do is to get Jagex to ban them, because we don't want 500 mil being injected into the game via gold farming botters. So right before I upload this video, I'm putting out this tweet. So if you guys will, please go favorite and retweet it, respond to it or the mods with your own concerns about this, and let's try to actually push to stop these guys. Oh yeah, also follow me on Twitter. I didn't make too much money in this video. The guy caught on way too quickly. 510k in cash and probably another 2 mil total in emblems. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later.